The best way to provide health care is on a national scale. Any other possibility breaking the health service up into specialisations, regions and care types only serves to allow each area to be squeezed against each other. We don't need patients lying in their deathbeds wondering whether their primary care trust or their regional specialist service has let them down, wondering whether they should have chosen a different clinic or a course of treatment that was cheaper and less effective but could be offered for a longer period. Everyone needs a single point of reference for their health care. We go to the nearest provider and they refer us to the best provider for our needs. No ifs, no buts. And we need to get away from this idea that somehow health care provision is a competition with financial constraints or our economy. Somehow we can afford Trident, we can afford illegal wars, we can afford to leave a third of the world's money completely untaxed in unsure tax havens. And yet we cannot afford the best chemotherapy drugs for those who will die without them. In the US where health care is not nationalised, a majority of home repossessions are related to health care costs and a majority of those are among families who did have health insurance but where the insurance had a cap or excluded certain conditions. Everyone in the world values their life more than their house, so we shouldn't be surprised about this. Of course they do. Whatever it costs to give people optimum health care, we must find that money and ensure it is spent getting them the treatment that they deserve. If we really cared about reducing the cost of health care provision, we would spend money funding medical research. It is outrageous that we leave those things to large, profit-driven corporations in whose interest it is to focus on the most lucrative conditions and leave people needing continued medication for as long as possible. Meanwhile, there are actually people in our society with skills who want to find cures for cancer and are stuck instead going into management consultancy because their funding options are too limited for them to take their desired career seriously. Instead, we should pay for medical research at state level, and when it yields results, those treatments will not cost us the earth because the patents for them will already belong to the state. These facts are simple and straightforward, completely incontestable. Anyone in government who suggests anything else is a corrupted liar who is willing to sell the poor and the sick down the river for their own profit. And frankly, if I worked in the health service, I would go out of my way to poison the evil bastards. (laughs) 